this New Year's Eve, get ready for the big face-off at Marina Bay. It's Mando Pop vs K-Pop, Taiwan vs South Korea, Wang Wong vs Rain. Who will win your attention and your heart as two of Asia's biggest superstars duke it out right here in Singapore on December 31st? Hi, I'm Erika from Razor TV and this is Ki Yun from The New Paper. So in one corner, we have Mandopop heartthrob Wang Li Hong ushering in 2014 at the float at Marina Bay, while K-pop superstar Rain will be a stone's throw away at Marina Bay Sands. The question is, who will you be swooning over? Is it Wang Li Hong or Rain? Let's break it down for you now. Okay, let's face it, sex sells. That's something Rain knows all too well. The Korean Hang sure knows how to tease and has never been shy about flaunting his physique on stage. Also, look out for some killer moves from the dance machine who's known for his flashy choreography. The upcoming countdown party will mark Rain's first performance here after a two-year absence for his military service. On the other hand, what Wang Li Hong has in spades is talent. Not only does he write his own songs, the American-born star is trained in 18 instruments and is especially known for his delicate finger work on the piano and violin. The boyish-looking 37-year-old has even wild fans in the past playing drums upside down. But really, fans just want to see him sing and play the piano in a tuxedo. Now, doesn't he look dreamy? Yeah, I think talent wins for me in this category because you just never know what surprises Wang Li Hong has in store. So what do you think? I totally agree because uh, the image of Wang Li Hong at the piano playing his famous ballads like Forever Love, Wei Yi, uh, 你不知道的事, this is the image that fans really love him for and it's the one that creates an impression and sticks with you. So while Rain, yes, he might have his uh, dazzling dance moves like Michael Jackson, you know, or the hip swerving, but uh, his songs are not very memorable. I think there's only one song, Love Song, and that's it. <laughs> Okay, next. Rain can carry a tune, but Li Hong's high notes will beat him hands down. It's no secret that the Korean star is known more for his dancing than singing. Plus, Lee Hong has won a Best Singer Award at the Golden Melodies, Mandopop's equivalent of the Grammys. So Lee Hong is the winner here for me too. Yeah, um, I feel that Lee Hong has, has a lot of criticism in the past, uh, especially with his latest albums where he tried to dabble in auto-tune. Mm. Yeah, holy Chen Kai. But I feel that it's, it's precisely this part where he tries to dabble with uh, electronic effects mm. that uh, covers his singing. Because actually his singing is great. Like mm. all the songs I mentioned earlier, all the ballads, it yeah. really showcases his singing. Yeah. So uh, it's when he tries to use techniques that mm. are unnecessary that you know he gets a criticism. So I think this is the best evidence that he actually can really sing. Whereas Rain, uh, you know, his singing is, is and never will be like the, uh, the main focus of what he does. True. Moving on, whether it's this fiery red outfit or futuristic armor he donned during his Music Man concert last year, Wang Li Hong knows how to make an impression on stage. But Rain at his best, well, would be Rain without costume. In fact, less is best, and I think fangirls will agree with me here that no costume in this instance trumps a flamboyant wardrobe anytime. I think this category, Rain wins hands down. Mm. Yeah, because you know, whatever he wears, he seems to be able to pull it off very effortlessly and he looks good. Mm. You know, whether it's a hat, whether it's a bow tie, sunglasses, uh, no sleeves, jacket, 
and uh, we remember his movies too. You yes. know, Speed Racer, Ninja Assassin, yes. Totally No Shirt, yeah, Shirtless. Mm. He's, he looks good in whatever he wears and I think that really, you know, gives him the edge over Lee Hong who I cannot really remember what uh, he, his outfits are besides, you know, the red blazing outfit. Yeah. yeah so for me, it's a ring too. So there you have it, that's our answer. Still having a hard time making a decision? Check out the M section in Wednesday's The New Paper. I'll have a few more face-off categories to help you out. Well, it may be hard for fans to pick between these two Asian superstars, but no matter who wins, Wang Yi Hong or Rain, I would say that the real winner here is really the fans. So enjoy your New Year's Eve countdown party, no matter which part of Marina Bay you'll be at. <laughs>